Hey there everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I'm back today with a little bit of a tech tip for you. It's now really late in the morning, or I guess late at night you could say, but I've just spent the last two or three hours trying to fix a problem with my Windows 7 machine. Today is like August uh, 18th, 2012, and a few days ago on August 14th, on Tuesday, Microsoft pushed out a patch to Windows 7 computers, which unfortunately had a bug in it. And if you installed the automatic updates using Windows, it would cause a problem like it would keep restarting the computer and saying that update, um, configuring updates failed, reverting, and it would restart the computer again. And then it would, if you go back into Windows Update, it would show that that update had not been able to install. Anyways, there's various solutions online you can find. One of them says to reformat your computer, restart everything, restart from scratch, those kind of things. I don't want to do that because my computer is running really well. I just reformatted it a few uh, months ago and it was very nice and clean right now, no viruses or anything. Anyways, I was able to solve this problem. I hope it can help you too if by telling you how I solved it. All I had to do was for every single update that failed to install. I went into Windows Update, looked at the list of failed updates, and I googled each one of them in turn using Internet Explorer. It's very important that you use Internet Explorer because you can't install some updates using Firefox or other browsers. Go to Windows or Microsoft Download Center, enter those um, KB IDs into the Windows Microsoft Download Center, and download the version of the update for your operating system. So if you have Windows 7 64-bit, you should be getting the Windows 7 64-bit version. If you install each one of those updates separately, reboot the computer after every time, then it'll eventually get through the one that's causing the problem and install it properly and then you'll be fine. So that's what I've discovered right now. If you're stuck in a loop where Windows Update will not install the updates, try installing them manually using the Microsoft Download Center and remember to install it using Internet Explorer because you may need to do some validation of your Windows gen genuine uh, activation. I tried doing it using Firefox, it would not install, so use Internet Explorer. If you have any trouble, please leave a comment below. Hopefully people can help you out with your specific problem. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. We have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.